Hey guys, it's me Michi. Today is Wednesday, January the 8th. Yes, and it is time for Simple Pleasures. This is actually my first Simple Pleasure of this year, 2014. Ooh, so Happy New Year to you. I hope you all had a blessed holiday season. I decided to take some time off and just chill out and, you know, just relax and hang out with family. So I didn't do any for the last two weeks, but I'm starting up today. And initially when I started doing Simple Pleasures, I said I was only going to do it up to the end of the year. But I think I'm going to keep them going for a little while. If, I, if the schedule changes, however, I'll let you guys know. So with that said, no more disclaimer. I hope everybody's doing good. Let me tell you what my simple pleasure is. It's going to be quick and easy. During the holiday season, I had an opportunity to go visit family. I went to go see my brother-in-law and sister-in-law. They had a new baby, which is beautiful. She's beautiful. And in the midst of us talking, she, my sister-in-law, started telling me about her grandmother. Now, her grandmother is 84 years old, and her name is, she calls her Medea. And, you know, a lot of people don't know that Medea is not something that Tyler Perry started. It is truly a, a name that is used as a term of endearment for an elderly grandparent or a grandmother in the South. My mom called her mother Medea before I even Tyler Perry was born, okay? So anyway, she's 84, but here's the deal. She has got a grand, great-grandmother who is 106 years old, still alive, still doing well. Did y'all hear what I said? Hold on. 106. I want you to do me a favor. You know, we had this discussion. Some people say things like, I don't want to live that long. That's too long. And other people say, I hope to live that long. My simple pleasure today is the fact that people still live that long and are still coherent and still know what's going on and still love the Lord and still give advice and wisdom. She was telling me about some of the things that her, her grandmother and her great mother has said, great, great grandmother has said to her. And I thought, man, what a blessing to be able to glean from wise elderly women. In the society that we live in today, there is a lot of women and there are a lot of older women, but they don't always give you nuggets that you can take through life. So when she was talking to me, I was like, man, that's amazing. 106, 84, are you kidding me? And her her Medea, who is the 84 year old, she lives on her own, she's fine. They just pick her up and take her to church. That's it, but she lives on her own, she's chilling, she cooks, she does everything for herself. That is the mercy of God. So what is my simple pleasure? My simple pleasure is this. I took out the time today or this weekend to really think about the fact of how long I really wanted to live. Think about your life and everything that you've experienced, good and bad. Do you really want to live that long? It hit me today. I want to live as long as God wants me to be on this earth. I didn't realize that that was a simple pleasure until I, I saw that someone is actually doing it. Can you imagine the things that they have seen? <laughs> More importantly, can you imagine the testimony and the way God has shown up in their lives? Like, like really, okay, let's, I mean, seriously, stop. Stop thinking about you just for a second and think. <laughs> These people have seen more things and have an account to more history than you could ever imagine and are able to live to tell the story. That is amazing. Yeah. So my question today is, how long do you want to live? Seriously, do you want to live to 60? That's young. 60 is like the new 25, hey. <laughs> okay, 60 is like the new 45. Let's just say that. Because I, I know people that are 60 that are like full of life and vibrant. You can't even tell they're 60. 70, do you want to live to 70, 80? I remember when I first, <laughs> this is crazy, I'm going to tell the truth. When I first got saved, I wanted to die and go to heaven. <laughs> saying and I was like Lord come get me from all this drama people are crazy God please I hate my job like I mean when I first gave my life to Christ I was like yes I'm in if I could just die and go to heaven you know I, I had no clue what I was talking about at the time but now as I get older and I get wiser and I experience things in life and God takes me through things I realize that I am here for a reason and there's no reason for me not to want to hang out as long as he wants me to hang out. They are a true testimony, 106 in 84. That's crazy. I mean, really? Wow. 
So my simple pleasure is this. My simple pleasure is a long, healthy life. If you've never read Psalms 91, go ahead and read it. The very end of it says, with long life will I satisfy thee and show you my salvation. Read it. It's the canopy of protection. Okay, that's it, guys. That's all. How long do you want to live? Is that even a thought? Are you like, you know, I'm over this. I hate my life and I want to go. Are you like, no, Michi, I want to live till I can't live anymore. Like, I want to just live this thing out. And you know what? It's a little scary. I'm going to be honest with you. For me, how many, how long have I been talking? Okay. It's a little scary because I think about all this. I've had some hard things to happen in life. And I've got my heart broken a few times in different situations. And, and I felt like God, you know, could have handled things differently. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> I was like, God, why did I have to deal with that? But when I sit back and look at the grand scheme of things, I would love to live to be 106 and be healthy and be able to tell the story and have all those testimonies through all the trials and tribulations that may come my way. When he brings you through it, it's worth it. All right, that's all I've got. Happy New Year, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.